Hello YouTube, today we have Eric returning with his Ultra Guest strategy after years. Yes, I get to play Ultra Guest again. This is a post Duelist Nexus list. <laughs> and, um, up here, up here, up here. Um, so this is a post Duelist Nexus build. Our local area has has agreed to play the new cards because nobody wants to play the old stuff. Stop. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so this is the deck. It's 40 cards. Uh, the deck list will definitely change because a lot of things were very, like, <laughs> iffy. Like, like I said, I either bricked a lot sometimes. Like, like, I went X1. I got top four with it, but it's just like, oh, my God. Their hands were like, I just couldn't play. All right. So, let's see your deck. All right. So, three Multifaker. Three Marionetter. Three Meliseek. And then up to Pukri to three. Because now Pukri and most of the names is combo with, like, uh, I, I'll get to this one, but like this and this is like the full board, and it's really nice. Did you say Ultra Guys combo? <laughs> yes, it is has a combo now, so it's okay, pretty, that's pretty cool. And then play one silk because like it's a brick, and you don't really need to like have two silk in your deck to play the game. Where like you just don't want to draw it, and you only want someone off faker, so just one. Like you only need one, because like once you like make the board, it's like oh, it's pretty like hard to break because there's so many like interactions that the deck has. I played one Malwis. This is the new card. You don't want to. This is another card that like you don't want to draw it, but like it's the card that you want to start off with Meliseek. But like if this card is added to your hand, so in any way, shape, or form, it's added to your hand, whether it be spoofing, Silk Bounce, or like even Meliseek Search, it summons itself, and then on normal special it reborns a Geist Monster, but you can't activate its effects. But like it helps you link climb. So like this card ends a tuner. It's like most link rebo into, into this, some back this, and it's a herald. So, so the most things like a one card herald, so it's really cool. And I play this guy, I don't know how to say his name. Basically, if he, he, if he attacks directly, he can, uh, if he attacks, if he does damage, he draws a card. If he sends a graveyard, he sends an ultra guys card from deck to the graveyard. So, this is how you do the combo with an extra normal summon. But yeah, that's that's that guy. And then for the ultra guys traps, like three spoofing. One protocol, you don't need more than one. Or you don't need more. Like you set it off uh whenever you do the combo you have Adminius Adminius set and Mary Netter set, so like you get to both anyway, so you don't need one. Like so and one manifestation. Protocolo. And then one revitalization. This is the uh while while it's like set on the field and you activate it, you can target a link target a ultra guys link to reborn it, and while it's in graveyard, you can banish it to normal to normal normal a geist monster. So you can roll some marionette. Yes. So that is the guys lineup. That's probably not changing. Like if I were to ever change anything, it'd probably be take out these and make it like a less combo -y build, but like I like it a lot. Definitely keeping the one malice, don't need any more. And then going second cards. Three Ash, three Droll, three Nib, and three Imperm. Uh this has been the interchangeable card of evenly or this. Probably gonna take this back out, like this card. It just underperformed. It was not good. Is it not good against a Rise Heart Pass? Uh, it's not good into a Rise Heart Pass. I mean, but the cash deck, like, plays into it. Like, you know, it's nice, but it just hasn't come up. And then even against, like, the Manadium deck, they do the combo. I think the Crystal Wing is, like, the third summon, so they just don't care. Yeah, yeah probably taking out Nib. And then, oh, that's Sand Traps. And then 3 Prosperity. Uh, you actually need the cards in your extra deck, so you can't just, you know... Uh, what's it called? Give them all away, and then you need to get combo pieces. Uh, one for one. It's extended. And then three strike. So yeah, that's the main deck. 40 cards. Anything you think you would change to the main deck outside of the Nibiru? Uh, the Nibiru is interchangeable. Droll. I really like Droll, so that's staying there. And then if I were to play like a less combo build, I'd take out the, the red guy and the trap, the revalization. But I like, I like this build a lot. So far, it, it did do well. But I would definitely probably move the nib beers out. So they might be something else. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then the extra deck, the Hextia. What does Hextia do for the people that don't remember your other 20 profiles? <laughs> uh, it is a spell and trap negate. It negates a card or effect for the spell and trap. And then it gains attack of whatever it points to. And then if it hits graveyard, it searches a ultra guys card. And, it's and then not negate once per turn. Yeah, right? Negate is not once per turn. I uh, played Double Prime Banshee. So this is the new card that got... I mean, it's not new, it's old, but like the new card they add to the extra deck. Basically, you 
tribute a geist monster and you summon one from the deck to the zone it points to and then if it hits graveyard that's like it's part of the combo and then if it hits graveyard it um adds you an ultra geist card from graveyard to your hand and then i played two adminia this is the new card <laughs> this card's this card is honestly like it's ridiculous being able to just like snatch steel cards and then um and it makes it an ultra geist card so you can it interacts with your silk your protocol and your hexia it's ridiculous this card has been so good and then on and then on uh summon it it sets an ultra geist trap so like i said with the marionetter and this you get access to both your traps that's why i don't think you need to play more protocol are you excited it's a starlight rare in your ultra guys i know right? starlight Ooh. starlight rare as they say but yeah it i love this card it, it's been, it's such a good addition to the deck and i played memory again uh this card's already been out i don't remember what it does but it's always been prosperity it just doesn't it probably come out and then play one Link, Link Rebo, uh, uh, Artemis, Selene, uh, Anima, Dark, Axis Code, and Herald of the Arclight. I might put in a Black Rose just because if you do, uh, what's her name? Malwis, and you reborn multifigure, you can Black Rose. Them. It's kind of funny. That's the extra deck. And the side deck. Sorry if you heard the thumb. The bunny's upset. Uh, three Gamma Seal, because I can't run Golem or. Sphere mode, like the normal summon is so important in this deck, so you can't play that. But mm -hmm. Gavis is fine. Uh, three Seeker Village, three Judgment, three Barrier. That's we're going first, and like those cards are just really good. And then I side three evenly. Like I said, this is a card that's been interchangeable with Nib. Nib's probably coming out completely. Either this can go in or another hand trap and keep this on the side deck. Yeah. Nice. Is there any other questions, comments, or concerns you'd like to mention about your deck? No. I just love that I can play my Ultra Guys deck again. So I'll be playing this uh, for a while, probably. Awesome. Good to hear. Any <laughs> shout-outs you'd like to say? Uh, shout-outs to uh, Geeked Out. Shout-out to my boyfriend for helping me record. He's behind the camera. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And the doggy. And the doggy. Right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Goodbye.